Hi, in this screencast I'm going to show you how you can automate certain routine tasks of document management. For this purpose we are going to use so-called automates. The goal is that any document which is a groceries receipt should go automatically to groceries folder. This one. Which as you can see it is empty now. Besides that, groceries receipts from this folder should be tagged automatically with groceries and receipts tags. But before starting, let's have a look at the receipts themselves. These are two examples of receipts I'm going to use. What I'm looking for is the text to identify them as receipts. For this one on the right side, it's pretty easy. You see here this huge text Schnell. This text is present on all their receipts. I will use this text to identify this document as a receipt and automatically move it to expenses grocers folder. Let's do that. So I'll go here to automates. I'll click new and I'll give this automate a name Schnell. This is just a name and you can name it the way you want. In this match field I need to place text to identify this receipt. So I will write exactly this one, uh, Schnell, it is not case sensitive. I will leave matching algorithm to any and I want all documents with this Schnell text to be tagged as groceries, comma, and receipts, comma. And the destination folder where this document should automatically go is groceries. And then save. With second type of receipts, this one, situation is a little bit more tricky. The problem is that entering Lidl text for matching won't work. This is because the brand of this company, Lidl, has this I letter a little bit rotated which makes it difficult for OCR engine to see it uh, as I letter. To identify receipts from this grocery store, I will use a little trick or an observation. The observation is that only little receipts have this text here, Bitte beleg aufbewahren, which translates from German, please keep safe this receipt. Besides, I will use the fact that this text is uppercase. So let me create the automate to move little receipts into grocery store. So I'll create a new automate, give it name little receipts and the matching text will be this one, Bitte beleg aufbewahren. As a matching algorithm I'll use any and notice that here is case sensitive is checked, which means it will look for this text only in uppercase. So again this text is this one. And I want to tag little receipts with groceries and receipt. And they should go to folder groceries. Now I have two automates, one for uh, Schnell Bakery and another automate for little receipts. And both of these receipts document will go to expenses groceries folder and will be tagged with these tags. Now we reached a very important point. The thing is that automates run only on documents from inbox folder. Usually the documents which are imported from local watch directories or from email end up in inbox folder. From paper merge point of view it does not matter where documents are coming from. Paper merge applies automates only on the documents located in inbox folder. I will use this fact and I will upload a couple of documents directly to inbox. Let's do that. So I'll go to inbox folder. You see inbox is empty right now and I'll upload a couple of documents uh, to this folder. So let me import these four documents. We need to wait a little bit until OCR process completes. Now after a minute or so I'll refresh this folder only one document remained. This document which still is here in inbox uh, is not a receipt. Let me open it and you see well it's not one of those receipts which we saw before. Actual receipts are now in expenses, groceries, here they are 
and not just they were moved here they also have these tags applied groceries and receipts and another cool thing which you can see here in logs uh, you can see some basic logs let's say this one which says running automates for this document on page number one and then it shows the text extracted from this um, from a respective uh, document and here at the bottom it says one of two automates matched and list of matched automates is schnell and now if i click on groceries you see all these uh, groceries receipt documents um, opened and if i click on any of them let's say this one first of all is schnell receipt second you see it is here in expenses groceries folder and if we see the properties of this document you see that this document has applied tags groceries and receipts and similar thing for the other receipt this one again it's a little expenses groceries and tags applied groceries receipts this is how you can use paper merge to automate basic document management workflows i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching